uh, Scott X 1307 uh, got my last flea market haul for the uh, year 2014 um, went up to uh, the flea market Saturday um, very slow um, wasn't uh, wasn't that bad of a day it's kind of overcast but not rainy a little warmer than it's been um, it's still a little cool but not bad there's just not very many people out I guess uh, the weekend after Christmas everybody's staying at home uh, I figured there'd be people out there trying to get rid of Christmas presents that they uh, that they didn't want and didn't want to uh, you know tell their family or something you know but uh, anyway it was uh, <clears throat> wasn't too bad went to the uh, comic guy and uh, doesn't like there had been too many people there I came off with um, a good number of books uh, a little stack of uh, 20 cent books um, price books and a little extra at the end um, found some pretty neat stuff this week uh, like usual but uh, 20 cent books um, I got some Marvel and some indie books. Uh, no DC this week. Um, I picked up two issues of Alpha Flight. Uh, the first volume, issue 129 and 130. It's the last two issues of that run. So I figured I'd pick those up. They're in uh, pretty good shape to be not bagged and boarded. Um, the interior pages, the edges are... Uh, turning but other than that you know no creasing no tears I'm surprised um, pretty good shape I uh, picked up this uh, really cool it's a Bill Singovich cover uh, web of spider-man 33 uh, looks like something out of a nightmare uh, that was pretty cool I uh, had to grab this um, this is just for the hilarious cover alone it's Walter Simonson uh, Thor 366 where he's turned into a frog a thunder frog what do you call a what is it what do you call a six foot six fighting mad frog yeah <laughs> uh, pretty cool uh, grab this love this Magnola cover Silver Surfer 14 this is from the, the late 80s 90s run um, I believe it's next issue where Ron Lim takes over but that's pretty cool. Uh, these earlier ones are a little harder to find. Um, Punisher number two from the first uh, uh, regular series. Kind of surprised. 20 cents. It's in pretty good shape too. Uh, and maybe a newsstand copy also. Uh, and some indie books. I uh, picked this up just because I remember the cartoon uh, Exo Squad. I was a teenager. But, uh, it was pretty cool. Um, it's kind of an American version of uh, mech suits. So, it looks like it's uh, writ written by uh, Lynn Wayne and art by Joe Staten. Or Staten. Um, just pretty cool. Um, grab these. I have not been reading any of the new Valiant... Uh, title since they relaunched a couple years ago um, I did pick up a good bit of uh, 90s Valiant stuff back in the day um, Bloodshot and Exo Man of War and uh, Magnus and Rye things like that um, I'd, I kinda wanted to get into the new Valiant I just never did I, I don't know why um, but I saw these 20 cents I uh, figured I'd pick them up I I actually like the redesign of this character. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but it's Shadow Man. Um, number one. Number two. Oh, there's pretty neat covers. Uh, number three. And uh, number four. Okay. Interested to uh, check those out. Hopefully they'll be pretty cool. <clears throat> and I saw this and uh, figured with the creators that were on it, I'd pick it up. Uh, 
it's black and white uh, interior which uh, you know, is pretty cool to me especially um, this looks pretty cool nice and clean uh, for the most part uh, but it's a title called Snapshot from uh, Image issue number one and this is uh, I believe uh, Andy Diggle and Jock uh, so it's Jock uh, covers and interior so don't know what it's about but I uh, figured I'd check that out for 20 cents um, also picked up this uh, issue of Grendel Behold the Devil from Dark Horse this is issue number seven of eight but it's uh, Matt Wagner back on his creation so grab that really uh really cool painted cover and uh, some more a uh, little more uh, current stuff this is five ghosts uh, found issue number two and issue number three it's pretty neat There are a lot of people talk about that. And then uh, the last two, uh, the 20 cent books. Uh, I was surprised to find these in there. Uh, Mike Manola stuff um, from Dark Horse usually doesn't come up at the flea market, um, especially in 20 cent boxes. But uh, I grabbed Baltimore Chapel of Bones, issue number one, and issue number two. I've heard good stuff about uh, this. Baltimore series so I figured uh, got a two issue story here I can check out it's Mike Vanola, Christopher Golden so Dave Stewart should be pretty good I like those covers now there's some price books found uh, I was able to find some pretty cool stuff today I got uh, got there just before another guy who's uh, I've noticed there several times and he goes he always hits up the price books and he grabs a lot of the silver and bronze age stuff and if he gets there before me um, I don't have quite as good a day um, but I got there before you did um, I don't know how many, how many other people have gone through the box already you only have one new box of uh, priced books um, but uh, yeah I'll show you what I got um, picked up a Pretty cool issue of uh, Detective Comics. Uh, I believe this is where he teams up with Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's issue number 572. It's the uh, 50 year anniversary issue. And this book is in really excellent shape. Uh, smart $4. All these are 25% off. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, like a $10 book. And it's definitely in, uh, uh, it's in very fine near mint shape. I can dig it. Uh, then I found uh, Mr. Miracle number 12. Um, this is in probably fine condition. Uh, no major problems, just uh, some minor stuff. A few spine ticks and uh, soft corners. Small crease right here. It's about an um, eighth of an inch or so not bad um, but definitely love DC Kirby books um, and I was pretty happy to find Forever People number 11 which was the final issue of uh, that original run this one is in a little bit better shape probably fine plus um, again no major issues with it just a, some small things here and there but overall really great shape cover still nice like it uh, and then this was pretty cool I picked it up just because it was um, the Spectre uh, it's Tim Apero art um, but uh, it turns out it's actually it was a uh, the new origin for the Spectre it's Adventure Comics 440 really like this cover um, so I grabbed it like I said, new origin of Spectre. Pretty cool. Um, and then I grabbed this issue of uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 7. Uh, it's Dave Cockrum cover with Morbius. And uh, it's in really good shape. There's one flaw or 
defect or I don't know what you want to call it. It's a printing error, what it is. Um, it's a miswrap. You can see in the front cover, you can see everything is kind of, looks like it's cut off. It actually wraps around to the back. Uh, that's pretty bad miswrap. Um, and then this is all cut off. But other than that, I mean, it's in really good shape. It's got a few spine ticks here, but, uh, you know, still, still good. Um, I think that's pretty neat. I actually don't mind the printing errors on books. Um, just, I mean, it, I don't really consider that damage. It's just kind of a printing defect. Um, it doesn't doesn't really decrease the grade to me. I don't know how that is with everybody else with CDC or anything. Um, and here's a book that's in really really great shape. Um, this would be a good uh, low near mint uh, copy, I believe. Uh, Fantastic Four number 156 with Doctor Doom and the Silver Surfer. Uh, he's not on the cover, but he is on the interior. Um, still love this cover here with Doctor Doom. He's got the uh, Fantastic Four all on their knees. You know, Doom triumphant. So, like I said, this is in really excellent shape. Um, let me hear a book. Um, I don't know, this is probably VG plus, fine minus, uh, but uh, for the price, and with the cover still being nice and uh, colorful and shiny, you grab Son of Satan number one, I love the fiery horses, reminds me of the magic card, a creature called a nightmare with a flaming horse, uh, but you know, four bucks, 25% off, couldn't pass that up. A uh, good uh, Bronze Age number one. Uh, another Bronze Age book, um, issue number four, Werewolf by Night. Uh, about the same condition, VG plus, fine minus maybe. Um, but it's Mike Plugart for four bucks. Couldn't pass that up. And then, <clears throat> last two priced books, uh, Giant Size. Avengers number one is the first issue of the giant sized issues. I believe it's also the first Silver Age appearance of Miss America. Um, cover is, um, you know, cover is a little off white, but the, uh, the squared spine is still really sharp. I was surprised. It's not squished, it's not folded over like they usually are. Uh, that's a big plus to me on these books. Um, other than that, it's in, in pretty good shape. The, the color is about the worst thing. Uh, it's, you know, for these prices, I don't mind. So. And last book. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. Um, pretty neat. Um, and a minor key issue for Marvel. Um, it's the first appearance of Namor's little cousin, Namorita. Submariner number 50. Uh, again, this book is... Little off white on the cover, and the interior uh, pages are um, kind of a, a light tan. Um, but I, again, I, I really don't mind. Other than that, the book is in really, really sharp condition. Um, the edges are nice and sharp, no spine ticks that I can see, even though it's a white cover. But even, you know, under the light, I don't see any spine ticks. Uh, no creases. Uh, I, was, I was amazed. Um, usually there are a lot of creases and small creases and spine ticks around the edges on these books at the flea market. But this one's still in really clean condition. Again, it's just the uh, the off-white color being the biggest uh, biggest issue. Otherwise, it's in great shape. Cover. Uh, the color is still you know pretty good. Uh, it's not really faded or anything as far as I can tell it's just uh, the white which you know you often find <clears throat> alright then uh, last couple of things <coughs> excuse me I uh, I picked up as I was leaving actually uh, I just totaled up books and uh, paid and them bagged up and then threw them in my backpack I'm just standing there you know bullshitting um, there's usually another guy, another older guy who sits there and 
it's a friend of uh, the guy that runs the booth. You know, they they sit there and talk, um, and uh, you know we got to talking about a lot of things. And, um, and the guy that runs the booth's name is Gerald. He goes, he walks out his you know back door. And he's out there for a minute or two. And he comes back in. and He's got a stack, you know, like this of magazine size uh, books, all bagged and boarded. And he goes through them for a second. And he takes and he uh, lays them down on the counter. And I'm like, whoa, hey now, what you got there? And uh, he said I just paid and I was really I didn't reach my limit I didn't want to spend any more money but um, when I saw what he had there um, you know I had to I had to find out what he wanted he said a dollar a piece and I couldn't pass these up um, ended up being some Conan magazines um, the he had a few of the uh, was it sort of Conan the regular uh, 70s uh, magazine that was out um, and they were pretty high number issues. Um, nice covers, but um, I passed those up to grab these five. It's the first five issues of the Conan Saga. And I realized that probably all the stories are reprints from the early Conan Marvel run, but they have some really awesome Barry Windsor Smith uh, covers. Uh, I said uh, issue number one here, really, really cool, really like that. His art was just fantastic back in the day. All the way up through the 90s uh, when he worked with Valiant. Um, I don't know what happened after that. But uh, This is definitely, I think, his prime. Uh, here's issue number two. Just look at the detail. Just amazing. And these books are in incredible shape. Um, even the interior pages are still pretty much uh, their original kind of whitish. Um, there's another issue number three. Really, really great cover. Like I said, you gotta gotta love some Barry Barry Windsor Smith art, especially back in his prime. Like I said, you see here this back cover. I know my lighting in here is bad, but this is, it's still nice and pretty pristine white. Um, black and white interior pages. And, uh, let me try something. Oh, no, there's no bulb in that lamp. Well done. Still, <laughs> see, that's a little better light. I, I was really surprised. Um, I figured they'd be uh, off white, but they're in really good shape. Um, dollar a piece, like I said, great deal. I think uh, this is probably. My, it's hard to pick, but this is probably my favorite cover out of the five. It's issue number four. Um, that's just that's that's an awesome Conan. Um, and then issue number five here. Wow, it's another great cover. Like I said, they're all really great covers. So, and uh, and that was it. I didn't go anywhere else uh, this weekend, just to the flea market, no second Charles, um, nothing like that. I, uh, uh, weekend after holidays, you know, like everybody, a little, little short on cash, um, but had a good time and picked up some pretty good stuff, I think. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, so, I guess that's it. Um, you know, like always, I appreciate uh, all the views and the comments. I really do. And uh, like I said, this last, uh, last haul video of the year, uh, I'll probably do uh, top, uh, top buys or top pickups for the year um, this coming weekend. And uh, we'll see. Um, next couple of weeks or so, I probably won't be going to the flea market. Um, time to put a little money back, um, you know, save a little bit of the next couple of weeks or so. And... Uh, 
but we'll see. Never know. Uh, until then, you guys take care. Appreciate it again. And like always, thanks for watching. And keep reading those books. Later.